Before we get into the video, I need you lot to do me a favour. Get this video at least 200 likes. Now I know we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but these young people do not have the faces of hardened criminals, despite the fact that they stole a life from another young person. Two teenagers, 18 year olds, Venusian Balakrishan, who resides in Wayland, Hillingdon, and Illus Suleiman of St. Rome's Grove in Hillingdon, had a common goal. What they did was team up and then went to go out and look for rivals in order to feed into their own egos and to be considered bad men. Now the victim was Rishmeet Singh. Now to make matters worse, Rishmeet had only been in the UK for two years, fleeing a war with his mum and nan, and only to come to the UK and meet his demise. So he was out with friends on November 24th, 2021. On the way home, Rishmeet had seen that Venusian and Illis were running in their direction with purpose. Now despite the fact that Rishmeet had no issues with anyone, he warned his friends to run. Now Rishmeet himself then tried to pick up pace and then run as well, but the adrenaline kicked in and ultimately he tripped and fell. Now bear in mind, Rishmeet is underground, he's defenceless, he's got nowhere to run, nowhere to go. He's surrounded by Venusian and Illus, and what they did was pull out a blade and use it on Rishmeet five times. Again, he was defenceless. Then again, either Venusian or Illus used the blade a further 10 times. That makes it 15 wounds in total, at the minimum. The entire incident from start to finish took a mere 27 seconds. Now emergency services were called to the scene, police and ambulance arrived with purpose, but Rishmi was so severely injured that he died at the scene. Now of course an investigation was conducted and police managed to use CCTV to track down the responsible teenagers. Ultimately police said Venusian was wearing distinctive clothes which had been found at his address when he was arrested. Now because these young men were so deluded that when Venusian was arrested at his home address, police confiscated his phone and found lyrics that detailed the crime he had took part in. Police also found the image of the blade used in the Rishmi M, which was still stained with red, and they found it underneath his bed. Now as for Illis, he was a bit smarter, but again, no sympathy for him. What he did was go into hiding, but he didn't get far. He was eventually tracked down in Edgeware. He threw away his mobile phone and also tried to change his image by getting a haircut and shaving the beard. Now this was a case of Rishmeet being in the wrong place at the wrong time and as for the two teenagers, they've been charged in a court of law with the M, they were found guilty and they are due to be sentenced on the 28th of April 2023. Condolences to Rishmeet's friends and family. Stay safe, safe.